What I'm going to show you today is how you can go about getting menus and books to essentially uh, splice together back end so that you can leverage the power of books and menus at the same time. Uh, so the reason I had to do this was because nice menus doesn't support books in uh, its rendering process. So I'm going to show you this real quick um, hack. It's a hack <laughs> to get this to work, but it's very simple. Uh, so say I have a book here, it's called Course Outline, and I want it to show up in menus. So just to show you that it's not there, menus, you can see Course Outline isn't there, there's nothing like it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm using NaviCat here, um, if you're unfamiliar with it, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to go to the menu links table, and open that up, and you can see I, I have you know menu name and all this fun stuff that Drupal kicks out and navigation. So should be able to tell that you know navigation relates to navigation. Uh, there's all this admin menu stuff that also doesn't show up there. I don't have anything in my primary links, so that's why it's not showing up. Resources, all that good stuff. Um, so the important thing to know is anything that's a book in Drupal 6 generates a menu a menu variable because it uses the same rendering properties that menus do. So it'll generate something like this. So you see book dash TOC dash, you know, 613 in this instance. This is saying that um, node 613 is the parent to this entire process. So the way that this hack works is I take that and I'll copy that ID and I go back here and say I want to look at menu custom Okay, now if you look at menu custom, you'll see that the links showing up here in title oddly correspond to what's on this menu page. So if I add a new record and I put in book TOC 613, I'll basically be pushing book's ability to be rendered at, in, in the menu system um, because it already is back end. This one line right here is the only reason why it doesn't show up everywhere. So if I make this course outline and description whatever it's just course and save this is basically all the hack was <laughs> was adding this one record here to the menu uh, underscore custom table so now when I reload this page you see it my course outline thing shows up here um, another really important reason for doing this is if I go to settings you see uh, default menu for content well if I say you know, it's course outline, that's where everything will be pushed. Um, for our example, what we want to do is have primary links actually be the course outline. So, you know, what should be displayed as primary links? So, course outline, okay. And then make this course outline as well, why not? So, if I save, and, ah, there we go. So, you can see course outline shows up here now. Now, I have to work on some of the rendering aspects because that's um, in the theme that we're working on. But now, because I've told this theme to render primary links, primary links as course outline is actually there now. Um, if I go back to list menus and I click course outline, you will see the exact same thing you would see in the outline designer or in the book thing, except this is all of the book entries for this course, um, for this, this book outline. So now I can access it here and you know edit these menu records, or I can go to the outline designer and do the same old uh, uh, book outline thing. Uh, one caution with this is, you know, you saw I accessed it through the menu thing. I could essentially come up with a way that there are now book pages that don't show up in the menu um, by going to, you know, and editing it at a menu level. So you should still be editing things at um, at the book the book interface unless you really know what you're doing with it. Um, you know, you can also, you know, go through and enable disable pages. So you can basically have pages that are actually in the book, but don't show up in the menu navigation. Um, this could also be pretty useful if you, if you're not using menu blocks, which you should be using menu blocks, it's a pretty awesome project. Uh, but, you know, I could, for example, say, uh, I don't want these to actually show up in the book, but they'll still be there. So if I navigate through course outline and syllabus, the next page in the pagination will still be these pages, but then it won't render for drop downs and things like that. So uh, we use this for all of our courses in order to get things into nice menus, uh, even though we're moving away from nice menus, but I'll go into that when I describe this theme in a future one.